One, two, three. Hi guys, welcome to our YouTube channel, the Rajore Clan. Yes. The shop buyers are in town and Ooh. you're showing them Berlin. Yeah. So stay tuned. This is their first time coming to Germany just to visit the Rajore Clan. So we're having fans coming over and he's the best barista in, in Africa the world. and in the world. <laughs> So this is one of the top barristers in the world. Thank you guys for coming. Welcome to our channel. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Sean. A photo. Uh, <laughs> uh, welcome, welcome, bro. Welcome, bro. Thank you. I hope, My you, pleasure. Had, I hope you've had a good time. I've had, had a wonderful time. time. I've yeah. had the best people with yeah. me. So best team, best boy. Awesome, awesome, yeah. awesome, awesome. So guys, before I introduce you, my guest, yeah. he's called Martin and he introduced himself fully. Yeah. Martin, Martin is one of the best, one of the, well, he's a great friend of ours, yes. a great family friend, and uh, of course he's come all the way from Kenya to come visit us. Yeah. With the family, what an amazing opportunity we've had with him so far. Yeah. And of course Martin is one of the best, actually the best barista <laughs> in the world. My pleasure, Martin, welcome to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Okay, so let's... Okay. Maybe start by introducing yourself. So my name is Martin Chabaya. I'm a barista by profession. I've been a barista for more than a decade. I've known my friends here for quite a couple of years, about five or six years. Five, now. maybe more. We don't and know. now it's really, really good <laughs> yes. to relocate, to, yes. to, re to reunite with them yes, yes. here in Berlin. Yeah, so yeah. I'm looking forward to sharing my experience with them. Amazing. Yeah. So, so far, just before we start talking about coffee, yes. let's, let's get to Friendship business. Yeah. How did you? How I mean? How? Tell us about your journey here. Okay. How did you get to Berlin and how oh. did you meet? <laughs> uh, just briefly. So it's a, it's a, Berlin is one of the cities that I've been looking forward to visit. Yes. And uh, today I'm really really pri uh, privileged to be to have my wife around. So we have we started our journey in Milan, where we had a coffee exhibition. After the exhibition, we now went into vacation mode. So me and my wife took a train all the way through Switzerland, Zurich all the way to Frankfurt, now, now we are here. But the end destination, the end goal was to visit you guys. Wow. And also share our experiences together. We are on We miss you, we miss you, man. We miss you. Uh, you remember our story when we, we last met at the airport? Absolutely. <laughs> really, Martin, Martin and the wife, of course, Martin and Mary. Mary smiling right behind the camera. Maybe you can see her. <laughs> yeah. Made sure that we took yeah, our yeah, flight yeah. to Berlin. We have and to make they sure. made sure and they, they wish, wished as well, as you can yeah, see, yeah, guys, yeah. we are still doing it, huh? This is why we made yes. sure you came, because you'd pull us back. <laughs> yes, yeah. and now you see, guys, we are here. We're the first team from Kenya to come visit us. So, how, 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 was, how was it in Milan, how was it in Switzerland, and now how is it in Berlin? In Berlin is, I think, one of the best experiences, because yeah. we feel like we are home, yeah. uh, reuniting with old friends. Mm -hmm. uh, but the experience in Europe, in general, has been really, really 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 amazing awesome we will want to come back again now with our two boys and yeah. our children and our the jays just to to enjoy all this experience okay okay so what what happens next um in terms of uh well, let's get back to real business yeah barista hey. your barista journey yes please Give us some brief overview about your journey to, you know, to bring coffee yeah. to be one of the world most sought after coffee brewer. <laughs> ah, everyone knows Shabaya. <laughs> I don't so, have to introduce no, you. No, no, no. Okay. My guest know you. Like any other passion and passion towards anything and your commitment to it, it will work out. So I've been a barista for more than a decade. But being a barista, I joined this career looking for something to better my life. I wanted to be a better person in the industry in the future, in, in, in my career life, you know. So when I got an opportunity to work in a restaurant as a barista, I just put all my efforts in it, knowing that uh, I want to better myself even more. I wanted to join competitions to at least know where I can improve myself as a barista, my skills. So that's why I improve. I, I wanted to compete in many competitions as much as I can and uh, trying to win all these competitions. So. Uh, so I can be a good barista, which we are celebrating today. But it's a journey that started more than 10 years ago. Yeah, so I've competed about four times in Kenya, winning all these competitions. And now I've represented Kenya in various parts of the world as a barista. And uh, the last competition was in 2021 that I participated in, which was in Milan, Italy. So this was my best performance of being the fifth best barista in the world. Wow. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's changed my life. Wonderful. Yes, yes, wonderful. absolutely. Changed my life, but I want to inspire even the upcoming baristas. 
Maybe before Whoever. you get there. Yeah, yeah, before yeah, you get to there. Okay. You give us everything in one sentence. <laughs> so tell me, um, you, you, how did you just decide that you went to do coffee? Apart from, there are many other things yeah. I know you love. You maybe, I don't, I don't want to mention, you mentioned it. There's yeah. some other good, great artists you artist want to love. Yeah. You also went to school, maybe some, something else. Yeah. How about going the other direction? Why did you choose coffee over So there? I'll tell you for free. That yeah. Coffee, I didn't choose to be in coffee. Even getting a job in a restaurant setup was just by chance. So after high school immediately, I needed a rose at home and I needed to do something at least to cater for this need. So I looked for a job and I went I bumped into Art Cafe. This was a, they are just this was the second branch in Art Cafe which was in Village Market yes. back in 2010. Mm -hmm. So I went there, asked if I could just be given an opportunity to do anything, even if it's just to wash dishes. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah, because I didn't have any experience straight from high school. Wow. So wow. five minutes interview, oh. I think we connected well with the manager with the who was yes. doing the interviews, and yes, then he yes. just said, "You guy, I think you look good behind the counter." Oh. So it was my first time to see an espresso machine, first time to taste real coffee. It was just my first time to even see the ambience, like different ambience. It was an Italian restaurant, so everything was different to me. Mm. And out of curiosity, wanting to learn what is this, what is espresso, what is espresso machine, what is this cup for, what is this. So all these recipes, all this made me dive deeper into coffee. Mm. And uh, before I realized, I knew a little bit more about coffee. Yeah. That is amazing. Yeah. So uh, you, you, you dived into coffee, yeah. you did at cafe many years. Yeah. How come? What happened that you left that cafe and now you delve into some other serious business, as you call it? <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't uh, have left that cafe, of yes, course. Yes, but yes, uh, yes. due to COVID, yes, yes. 2020 COVID was a difficult year. Yeah. Me, I left in 2020 after we thought maybe it would last for a little bit, a couple of months, and yes. then things would come back to normal. Yes. But it prolonged yeah. more than we expected. So, hmm? we had to, be, to retire early. So I never resigned, we just had to retire early mm. and then because no one knew now what the future holds. Right. So after that is when I dived into my other passion, which was woodworking. It wasn't a great time to look for any job in the hospitality industry. Everything was locked down, everything was closed down. So I dived into woodworking, pushed me for two, two years before competing now in 2021. I remember meeting you at some point and you were making it. Yeah, uh, yeah, nice yeah. Table, nice dining yeah, set. I nice. used to do, I used to do all that out of my own. Yes, yes. My hobby actually. Hobby, right? To create something from my own. Yes. Yes. So I competed in 2021. Then after that, I got an opportunity to work with one of the leading uh, brands in the espresso machine manufacturing. How, how, how did yeah. you get the opportunity <laughs> to, to like interact with the leading brand, you know, the coffee, uh, yeah. the designing and making coffee machines in the so, world? It's a, it's a really long story, but yes, it was yes. really inspirational because uh, they watched my routine, they loved me. I'm, a, I'm coming from a, a producing country, like mm. an origin, mm. where they would produce a coffee, coffee producing. Yeah. Part, uh, and uh, I knew a little bit about testing, yes. I knew a little bit about customer service. Yes. Uh, and they thought maybe if we merge our uh, efforts together with yes. the, the Sanremo coffee machines, yes, yes. Of course, we'll meet uh, greater heights. Oh, the company is called Sanremo. The company is called Sanremo. <laughs> Amazing. Yes. So, okay, tell us about your journey with Sanremo. Now Sanremo has <laughs> taken it up. No, Sanremo has changed my whole life. Oh, yeah. oh my. I, I feel like a baby. Yes, yes. I feel like I'm learning every day. Yeah. Uh, there's, so, there's so much that I didn't know about coffee. Mm. There's so much I didn't know about innovation and mm. technology. And uh, I really appreciate them for this opportunity. Actually, to believe in an African yeah. coming all the way from Kenya, yeah. come over to at least share experiences together. Yeah. They've exposed me, they've elevated my life uh, as a person, and even uh, in my family, it's now extending towards my parents, also my brothers and sisters. Yeah. So I really don't have enough words to express my uh, what Sunday was done actually. But more importantly, yeah. As a person in my career life, yeah. I, my, my thinking is different, and uh, I wouldn't have been where I am today without someone. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, what do you do? All right. Um, tell us about how you got this opportunity yeah. at San Remo, what you do to San Remo, and how has it, you know, uh, how has it been? 
So I would really love to express my uh, what I think of uh, where I am today. It's pure passion, dedication, teamwork, and innovation. Yeah. So as a person, as a barista, I uh, I wanted to participate in barista competitions. So this barista competition is like a crash course. You learn a, a lot about customer service, you learn a lot about uh, coffee in general because you have to speak about the coffee that you're serving. You have to be like confident to speak with coffee. So I participated in the competitions to better myself. I knew deep down in my heart that if I'm a better person in this industry, I would get opportunities like San Remo coffee machines, so attracting them to work together yeah. and also share experiences. So I would really encourage the young people, whatever you're doing, try to be the best at what you do. In whatever you do. Yeah. You don't know who is watching, so yeah. keep doing whatever you're doing, but try to be the best. Challenge yourself, get into challenges, competitions. You never know who, you, who is watching. This is how I got my opportunity. It's my line. You, can, you may emulate it, but I am not 100% sure that it can work out as I need. But whatever you're doing, mm -hmm. with passion, passion and commitment, and and trying to better your life every day, okay. whatever you're doing, in, in whatever. Space. So it means during this competition is yeah. when they spotted you. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. During the competition, mm -hmm. they spotted me. We worked together. We exchanged cards. Mm. We spoke a little bit more mm. about mm. the cafe scene in Kenya. We spoke a little bit about my experience as a barista in all those years. Mm. But they knew that. Uh, but that was, that was that was in Kenya, in Nairobi. No, no, no. Yeah. All in this Milan. happened in Milan. In Milan. During the competition. Still, during the competition, just after the competition. So who approached? Is it the manager or is it the boss? <laughs> no, I've worked with a friend yeah. who is a former national barista champion. Former world barista. Former world barista champion. Yes. So San Remo Coffee Machines really work with them. Yeah, yeah. They pick the best. Yeah, they, they work with the best. <laughs> that one I'm sure. In the one percent is shocked. <laughs> I was shocked to be among them. Oh lord! But, but uh, they, I, one of the world barista championships, uh, champions is a friend of mine. Yeah. So we uh, exchanged words during the after after the competition. Mm. We worked together even to build up this uh, this routine that I presented. Mm. So he introduced me to uh, the R and D manager mm. of Sunrise Coffee Machines, mm. Casual. But uh, that sparked something in him. Mm. So he followed up within the period that I was in Italy and we sat down to discuss on Zoom calls, online meetings and they invited me over to Italy for a, a formal interview I came back to Kenya but uh, all this happened, uh, I don't know how it happened but I feel like uh, I don't attribute it to my efforts I, I really appreciate God for everything but above that you have to put in your efforts you have to put in your passion Wow, wonderful. Yeah. That role, the, the one in your hand, you were holding at San Remo. Yeah. How, was, how, how have you used it to empower other people, so, you know, yeah. bring the most to the coffee world? I understand like that. So being a brand ambassador for yeah. San Remo, yeah. machines, yeah. I, back home in Kenya where I live, where I have experiences, yes. where I grew up, I knew all these challenges that we were facing. So most of the challenges we are facing is that we are we were not so much exposed with these international espresso machines mm. and innovation technology mm. that is impacted inside the espresso mm. machine. So we used to see these espresso machines in the world stage. So, in the la like last year, uh, we as Sanremo sponsored the Kenya National Barista Championships in espresso machines mm. from Sanremo. And these are the high-level high espresso machines which are, even the local baristas were so intrigued so anxious to learn, so anxious to work these machines because this is a whole new world of espresso extraction mm -hmm. compared to what they are used to. And uh, I, I am hope, I'm hopeful that we keep on sponsoring and supporting these local baristas with exposure to such espresso. I, I remember a scenario, I don't know whether you want to talk about it, yeah. where this, this young guy, you talk, you took through the process and yeah. then, you know, you went to win, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Uh, you yeah. remember that story? Yeah, Are there yeah. such other cases? Yeah, 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 yeah. I train a lot of bar upcoming yeah. enthusiastic baristas. Yeah, yeah. They want to, at least, they look look up to me yeah. as someone who has uh, at least made it through their okay. career of okay. 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 So, I try to mentor as much as I can. Whoever needs help, 
Will I pay you? If they come up yeah. and uh, reach out to Shabaya, yeah. yes. please help me here. I need some support here. Yeah. I come in and help them fully. Okay. Yeah. Is it for free or someone can pay you as well? For now it's for free. <laughs> for now it's for free. You don't want money. <laughs> but maybe it will, it will reach that time. At some uh, point when there are some baristas who really cannot afford to pay, but they are really, really enthusiastic about this kind of stuff. Kenya, maybe let's talk about Kenya. The coffee for this country. Do you think we have enough coffee there? Do you think the, the supply is enough? Absolutely. In Kenya, we have a lot of coffee. Like uh, right now, the government is really trying to expand the markets yeah. and try to better also the prices so even the farmers can really compete. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Because we have a very unique soil, very unique microclimate, mm. and also very unique varieties. Oh, oh, wonderful. Yes. Okay. So, parting yes. shots, yes. I'm really, really humble and happy to meet the Rajore clan. Yeah. yeah, I've been looking forward for this day. I can't believe it's happening, <laughs> but it is happening here in Berlin. And I'm really, really honored that you guys are doing a wonderful job. We love your content, you're inspiring so many, you don't know how many. And, uh, let me just introduce my lovely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, just say something about it. Hey, we are really, really, really inspired. We're always looking forward to see what you guys are posting. And yes. it's really, especially people who do not have, you know, knowledge is out there, but people don't even know how to access it. So when you try to bring it, you know, closer to them, I'm sure it's going to change so many people's lives. And look what's doing, you know, more trips like this, mm -hmm. more content <laughs> like this, you know, and we continue inspiring the world. So it's one lesson at a time. Awesome. Yeah. Be sure to follow the Rajo Lecture. Hey. Please follow them. <laughs> <laughs> thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys for watching. We've been inspired by the story. And if you're a barista, if you're someone who is passionate about anything, kindly watch the video, share with your friends, tell them that it's possible. In this life, you can do anything as long as you put your mind to it, as long as you're passionate, you may never know who's watching. Anyone can watch and anyone can approach you. Any channel that you use, use it to the maximum and travel the world. Because at the end of the day, traveling the world exposes you to so much. So if you've been watching, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing. Thank you guys, we love you. Don't forget to share, don't forget to like and road to 10,000 subscribers. Until next time, thank you guys. Cheers. Experience of your life? Of a lifetime. You can do that.